everything if I don't traffic these people and make money no. I'm gonna lose everything no. I overnight I know, people. Oh. I know people too and they got targets on you right now Tobias you don't see it but he's got a gun pointed right at you yeah you know All why right. because you took his cocaine no you did no. I heard all about you <laughs> Man, what a wild week. Oh, gosh. Glad um, it's over. The thing is, no, you know. <laughs> the company is very nice to me, but I, I like, you know. They still. said you look like Jim Jones, and they can't. And I told them they can go to hell. <laughs> but, you know, I was like, 
I was throwing up blood for a week. He was throwing up shit, too. It was awful. It was awful. She's not on it. Diarrhea on the floor. It. <laughs> so, you know, you're like, I'm gonna relax. Yeah, you try. And I want everybody to leave me alone. And I got crazy people showing up at my house talking about, I wanna, I wanna look at your records, because I got record collections and shit. No. They wanna look at my shit. No. And I said, look, you step one more foot closer to me, I'm gonna stab you in the goddamn throat, because music's all I got left. He was really pushy, too. No, the thing is, is I put my hand on the door and I said, look. I think he tried getting in the I house. said, I will fuck you up. Then you go to the store next door, you're trying to get your steps in. And you know, I said, like, you I don't get belong back here. Yeah. And they're like, you don't belong here. And I said, what the fuck you just <laughs> said to me? This is my city, bitch. Yeah. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? And we're not getting ramped up on that. But no. I think the statement's very clear because I'll cut your fucking throat. And this is a good, fun time show. People are awful. This, yeah. is, a, this is a fun time show. Yeah, in theory. We try. We try so We hard. really try. But sometimes I look over at you and you have that smug fucking face. <laughs> well, man, big shout out. Got some shout outs. Okay. okay. Yeah. Got some shout outs. No, in fact, I got one shout out to the store supervisor. He sent me a Christmas card. Very nice. Cynthia Very nice. sent me a Christmas card thanking me for Thank all you. the homemade magazines that I send out that might have something to do with all this. Right. I print <laughs> all of them. I know, man. Dude, we worked so hard on those, and I still got thank one you. more to go. Cynthia, thank you. It's but yeah, sweet. big shout out. Big shout out to Marco, man, he, he gave us protein powders to keep us strong and running. He really puts up with a lot of shit. That and, poor man does. But, you know, this, is, this has been a time of go fuck your mother. This has been a time of... Nah. We really need you to know, start hustling. I, I know it's the holidays it's and everybody's fucking cruising. And it's scary. And I'm trying to teach you how to drive, and these bastards are running us out the road, and you got a fucking mess. Running pants. over mailboxes. And I got people showing up at my door wanting to come in and look at my shit, and I said, You stay the fuck up. I swear to God, I'll stab you in the throat. And I'm a nice guy. But big shout out to uh, Amy. Amy. Yeah, man, that's my girl. Very nice. You know. Lots of shout outs. Yeah, big shout outs. What the fuck are you looking at, Sloth? Tell him to go away. I swear to God. He's so sick. You, you fucking tested. You and that cat, you tested me one more time. I'm gonna come over there. Known addict and a cocaine addict. Mr. Oh, yeah. Mr. I told you. I told you. I told you. Mr. Head lock. Put him back. Put him back. Put him back. God. I ain't, I ain't putting up no food. Put him back where he was. God. I ain't putting up with no foolishness. Not tonight. It's a new year, baby. Back off. Mister, you better seat yourself now. <laughs> or we're going to stop this recording. I don't like any of this. Oh, man. It's so bad. I, I, you should have seen the look he gave me. I found a teacher. Well, he's a heroin addict. What do you expect? He's selfish. Oh, man. That's that's a sleepless... He's really selfish. ...zombie kitty t-shirt. I, I thought I lost this. Uh, yeah, it was mine. And we cut the sleeves out of it. Yeah, that's, that's what... Put it back. You know what? Go call somebody. All nines, bitches. You're just ruining anyway, everything. I, I, I had to do it, man. I had to do it, man. If you saw the look he gave me. You just ruin everything. Oh, you and the song. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Very fun. Yeah. Yeah. 
Man. like it. And it, you know, Tobias, I don't know what you did with him. He was sitting oh, no, right he's there. Back there. He man. was seated right next to No, he's back there. Like, I'm tired of these animals creeping up on me like that. And he, um, and he went to Toledo last week and he yeah. woke up in a bathroom. What was it? It wasn't Toledo. It was. Um, no, it's Toledo, but Deborah called it Toledo. It's Toledo. <laughs> yeah, the GPS kept Toledo. calling it to, What was it? Toledo. Toledo. She doesn't even. I'm like, where the fuck is Toledo? I thought it was Toledo. It's Toledo. I don't even think Deborah's from here. She's not even from America. Her name's Deborah. I went with that bitch. She's not from America. She must be from Holland or something. But anyway, it's Toledo, and Tobias ended up in Toledo last week, and he woke up in a public bathroom. With a sore asshole? Not quite, Whoa. but he had no money left, so somebody took all his money. That's, that's how life starts. I'm finding that out. But I found $40 in my front jacket pocket, so... That's pretty hot. I'm ahead of the game. <laughs> I'm not it's buying no scratch Really off. hot. I want to, but... Sanford is chirping at me. He's ready. He's really ready for the show. I looked at it when it was 11-11. That's our lucky number. One, one of our lucky numbers, 11-11. 11 minutes, 11 seconds. And if triple four is also one of our lucky numbers. Don't ask why. We don't know why. You don't even, yeah. You don't we'll find out, though, sooner or later. You'll find out when you die, I guess. I, don't know. <laughs> I just assume that when you die, everything becomes clear. Maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, uh, you're gonna have to. Because the Grand Reap is coming. God, would he just get here already? I'm sick of it. I keep hearing about him, and he never shows up. I know, I'm like, where you at, bitch? I like that sickle cane you got. I ain't seen one of those since the last time I cut the grass, motherfucker. Did you learn that from a black lady? Did you learn that line from a black um, lady? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> For you youngsters out there. Yeah. He used That's to what play. you used to have to cut the fucking he, grass with. Right. He also used but to. But he walks around with it like a bitch. It's like a lawnmower blade on a stick. Yeah, it is. Is what the slaves used. Yep. And also, they used to have these push mowers that didn't have a mo uh, motor or anything. It was blades, and you just had to push that That's shit. That's right. And you're like, God damn, it's hot out here. Mister, please seat yourself. Yes, ma'am. Please. Says I can't afford a new microphone. I wanna try to adjust myself. You can't afford a new anything, and now all these, I, uh, all these bitches are after your money and your dick. I, the thing is, I'm scared. It's not looking good, folks. All it's I want to do is be left alone and play when I get tired. Right. And then you're like thinking, oh good, <laughs> if I just quit my good. job and lock myself up in the house, everything will be fine. Then the fucking front door starts beating. And you got strange people coming going, David? I'm like, look. I, I thought I told you to go fuck your mother. I thought I told you I don't live here. And it's been stressful. However, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about it. I like your really cute holiday beers. Those are really yeah, cute. man, we collect them. Did we get them all? Um, yes, we did. Oh, we did. We got the collection. Because we collect them. Um, Every year. There's a puppy. Yeah, I got collectibles all up. You know what? I ain't even gonna say nothing because one of them stalking bitches out there and they're gonna be like, I'm gonna get his collectibles too. Because this motherfucker they want is gonna make my rent. Yeah, they want everything. Hey! So greedy. Hey! Who's that? Sanford. Sanford! <laughs> you showing up on a party? He looks really happy. You want a little bit of this key? He's really excited. Stop shout out, man. Stop. Stop. There's a swing. Folks, there's his little swing. And 
and he's very excited for the show. Very yeah, man, you look so to it. sweet. Because I almost didn't very, even do it. Very sweet. But I was like, man, we can't resist now. Yeah. We've been doing this show for right, and he's transgender. Like fucking two years. I'm not gonna stop now. He's transgender too. Man, he is yeah. transgender. And we don't judge him. He's turning into a bitch. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm Man, these <laughs> racist remarks are getting out of hand. I slipped up on the it last was a episode joke. we didn't... I don't even know. It who. was a joke. It's a joke. Look, it's transgender so... birds <laughs> are welcome in this house. He is. I'm just saying. I'll even give you a kiss. I'm just saying he's going to be a pretty bad B-I-T-C-H when he's done. He's yeah. Great. yeah, that's what I heard. He's backing I me up. I also heard. He's backing me up on this. Look. <laughs> I'm team up on it. I heard there was a game. You had some shit, right? Yeah, I wrote for this. I actually wrote for this. I'm a huge failure in this endeavor, but I actually wrote for it. David was telling me how much I'm a failure, and the mic is out. I'm just kidding. He didn't say that. He didn't call me a failure. He did. Hey, how come it works for me? I'm just talking a lot of shit. Don't worry. <laughs> it doesn't work for me because I'm leaving. I'm going to join another podcast with Tobias. And I don't want to. I don't want to, so don't act like this is my choice. But I'm going to go and join Tobias on a podcast. And we're going to talk about some really hot stuff named... Namely, pornography. We're going to talk about all of it. How come everybody leaves me out the good shit? Bestiality. That's what we're going to talk about. How come I get out the good this shit? On this podcast. Well, Mr. You actually have a pure heart, and Tobias doesn't. He's an evil bastard. That's why he has a podcast about perverted things, like... Pornographic scenarios. I got, I got titties in my face. So this this has like a, a different sound to it than yeah, mine. Okay. So they can hear you. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's get to the page here where I wrote the game. Oh! We don't hear about No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wrote for it. I got it. Like, yeah, yeah. It's about picking your life force. It's all mostly water related, so you'll have to pick a number between one through four to get a life force. And I swear to God, if you don't pay attention during this game, folks are about to see a bloodbath. <laughs> so pick a number between one through four, and then your life force will. Don't you flip me off? No, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, three is a bog. So as you know, they're filled with water. They're also stinky. Now there's a card that uh, pertains to that. To the bog. How about this? Do you want to go with that decision or do you actually want to draw a card to get one? To get a life force? No? Okay. Anyway, that would have been the Jack of Clubs, the Boneyard, which I think is ironic because you tend to pick either the Boneyard or the Tavern card. So, okay. The Bog. It says, it's not the most endearing place to be a bog. It's not the frequent hangout of, well, anyone. Yet, where most people are repelled, you're thriving. Yes, you're stinky and mighty dark, but if anyone would be daring enough to join you, everything, like the murky water of this bog, will come clear. You may seem repugnant at times, but your intentions, mister, are pure indeed. So this is you have very pure intentions. You're a stinker, and you're very dark. You have a dark nature. Would you agree with any of that? Well, sometimes the way you perceive yourself is not the way others perceive you. That's an interesting question. Yeah, well, they're also assholes. Yeah, that's, I agree. And then, you know, okay. then they're full of shit. 
Yeah, mostly. Mostly full of shit. Yeah. Okay. You want to hear any other options? Before we move on? Hit me, brother. Okay, um... Please wait three seconds. Um... Okay, that was a lot of blood. I'm on my period, so... Thank you. One is the C. <laughs> and if you picked the C, that would have been the Ace of Diamonds. That would have been the beach. Card not to be confused with the bitch card. There's no bitch card. So, the C. Many people have perished at sea. And likewise, you've also seen many people meet their demise. Whatever you do, keep in mind that like the vast sea, you can be gentle one moment and violent the next. You will confound your peers often. But there is a genius to your madness, if only they can see it through. Okay, so the, the sea. Two is the river, and that would be the meadow card, the four of spade. So many odd characters have traveled the river. People of all walks of life, gamblers, pirates, people on the run, whether you play in it or piss in it, it's always running, and that's just like you. Nobody can deny your tenacity and steadfastness. Few people can keep up with you, but boy, will they have some stories to tell. That's the river. Rivers are interesting. Um, there was at one time river boats that would travel up like the Mississippi, right? And there was all kinds of people on those boats, gamblers, perverts, murderers. So, and then four would be the lake. That would be if you got the tavern card, the king of hearts. Many moments, both blissful and stupid, have taken place on the lake. That time you ran away and went fishing. That time you slipped and fell off the dock. Or the time you stole all the good drugs and made a getaway in a paddle boat. The lake is the place where memories are made. Some would say that, at your core, you're apt to enjoy yourself no matter what the cost. Why sit around bitching and moaning when you can write the next adventure by the lake? There you go. Nice advertisement. So, uh, <laughs> you pick the bog. You, you're stinky and you're dark. So, um, the second half... Do you want to pick what realm you're going to be in? The upper, the upper realm or the lower realm? What's the numbers? Well, you can pick a card this time. So, I just have to get the right cards. Here, folks. These are the cards you have to choose from. Okay. Whatever. Just, just, pick, pick just one. Just one. And we'll determine if it's red or, red or black. Okay? Looks like you got that diamond, bitch. Please show the folks they can't see. Okay, it's red. I know. So the, the red card would pertain to the upper realm, which is where we're at now. And that's good, because if you pick the black card, one of the black ones, you're in the lower realm. And, um... That place is pretty scary. So, much of the challenges you now face can easily be handled in this realm. No need to travel to the lower realm to find a solution. Although it's possible that you become terribly confused and deluded at times, because it's harder to tell up from down these days. Does that make any sense? Does it seem that way? So if you, that's the upper realm, and that's good. Um, if, you, <laughs> if you pick the lower realm that says, if the upper realm isn't confusing enough these days, it's possible that the solution you seek has slipped out of the lower realm entirely. That means you have to transcend both now, which is a stressful task, and I'll say no more. I'll say no more because folks, Many of you don't understand this, but there are other worlds um, other than this one, and we don't want David to go there, because he might not come back. Okay, so that's that. 
Um, would you like? <laughs> okay. So, would you, would you like to move on to the, uh, the last half of this game? You, you picked the bog. That's your life force, that's where you are, that is, um, the boneyard it pertains to the boneyard card, the jack of clubs, so, um, which, to refresh your memory, represents transcendence, largely the past and future. It says, if the question is, should you carry the same attitude you've had from the beginning, the answer to that is yes. The reason, it works for you. Now, it does not work for many who encounter you, mister, but this is your journey. If you allow others to deter you from your path, it will only lead to ruin. Transcendence does not come from those who bend to the will of others. In your lucky numbers, if you give a damn, would be 22 and 71. So look out for 22 or 71. Read these, you want to know these other, not read, I'll read them. You want to know the other explanations to any of the other choices? I don't have to read them, but I wrote them. So if you picked the uh, Ace of Diamonds, the beach, it says, this, to refresh your memories about the Oniric, the dreams, hidden potential within self and other, and other areas in life. This is the time when you must jump. You will benefit much from analyzing the structure and theme within the dream world you face. Many, okay, any moodiness or turmoil you're wrestling with can be resolved there, but you have to be able to interpret those dreams to your own benefit. And the lucky numbers would be 66 and 42. Now, if you pick the meadow, the four of spades, it says, and that's about tranquility in the here and now. Your strength of willpower is going to carry you far throughout life, yet you will undoubtedly encounter times in which you feel you can't move forward. This is when the mental power must outweigh the physical world around you. And the lucky numbers would be 53 and 81 for that one. Okay, and we're near the end of this, so you can quit counting sheep. <laughs> And uh, this would be the tavern. I'm just kidding. He's, he's daydreaming right now, folks. He sleeps with his eyes open. The tavern, um, the king of hearts, which you've, you're familiar with that because that's about vices and changes in your life or in someone connected to you. It says, now is not the time to reject an opportunity to enjoy yourself and have fun. It may be short-lived. As it seems, tyranny is on our horizon. Have fun at all costs? Yes. Even indulging in certain vices won't hurt right now. Just never tear your eye away from the horizon. And the lucky numbers there are 4, 61, and 32. And we're, we're done with that. And that was just a game, folks. Um, Okay, <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, we really don't want this bitch to go missing because um, like the last card that went missing, which we found, that was Sam Sanford's getting rowdy. The last one we lost was the King of Hearts, and he turned up where? Do you remember? Yeah, it was in my shirt pocket. Yeah, it was it was in the um, pastel green shirt, and it was in the shirt pocket, and it was staring right at me. I'll never forget that. So and that's the tavern card, which is where you would typically find David, because um, well, when you live in a very mundane place like South Carolina, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he, he just gets a little bored because he's a smart man, so. There you go. Where 
the definition. Where do we stop the squeaking? <sighs> it's so bad. Well, we're at we are at 29.58. So one of the questions I'd like to ask you: Can you recall um, when I asked you last weekend? When I picked a random place in America and I said, "What do you see?" Like, what was the? It was Utah, remember? And I said, "What did you see?" And it was a child who was missing. So, if there really is a child missing, where do you think the child is now? If you could guess. Ohio. Ohio. That's where Tobias was. Toledo. Ohio and Toledo. That was the worst right. place I've ever been in my life. Yeah, they didn't even have good snacks. <laughs> they stayed in that <laughs> fucking hotel. Yeah, and look, and they had um, pancake batter ceiling. And there was blood on the mattress. And a pancake batter ceiling. Because it, it looked like it had little spots in it. Yeah. Little holes in it. Because I checked the beds and I was like, there's, there's blood stains, but you know. Fuck. I, was, I drove for 12 hours. I was tired. I didn't give a shit. He really didn't care. He worked all day and then he drove I all worked, night. I worked all day Sunday and then drove for 12 hours. So sweet. And I said, they might be blood on these fucking mattress sheets. <laughs> and I'm sleeping in it. Yeah. And then peanuts are mine. Yeah, but I was very disgusted at first because <laughs> so, I thought it was all I could afford because it was forty dollars. I didn't for see you. I didn't see you bring them into the room, and I thought they were complimentary nuts, and I was very disgusted. I was very disgusted. Not happy. Them my nuts. Yeah, I was glad, and I was very relieved to know that but, that you brought them because but, you know I checked the beds. I got like I said, bed bugs, man. That's the one thing. Yeah. So I was checking the bed. Gosh. And I started looking under the mattress. I was like, somebody got stabbed in this room, and they just flipped the mattress. But I don't give a shit. Right. I didn't even turn the TV on. I just fell over on it. <laughs> and I said, we'll be. Like I said, we ride at dawn. You know. Right. I don't want to spend one more fucking minute in this fucking town. It was and creepy. But fun. I, I did. I went to Galveston, Texas. Texas, Alabama, and Ohio. I never want to see it again. <laughs> I, I would agree. Yeah, that's not good. I had the worst experiences. I ran from the police in Texas and hit on top of a Coca-Cola machine. And I only had a pants on. I don't I don't know. I was fucking, you know, Scary. I was doing my shit. Yeah. But I didn't know they had a curfew. And I was underage and they were like, you, you, you can't be out here. And I had these mosquitoes that were so big. But the cop couldn't catch me. Right. But the, the fact of the matter is, you know those things they put your luggage on and they push you Yeah, around? yeah. The reason he came around because I was making so much noise is because I was riding one down the stairs. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. It was, <laughs> okay. Like, I got on one, and I said, look. That's and I right. grab, and I always grab an innocent bystander, and I said, I want you to do one thing. <laughs> it's all you've got to do in your life. Scary. I need you to push me down the stairs. Scary. And I'm going to ride this fucking luggage cart. But how did that go? It was <laughs> fucking awesome. Oh, okay. Boy, they didn't like it. Right. So then I got up and took off running. Then I hit on top of the vending machines. And I curled yeah, up in but... a ball and they couldn't find me. If you're and then I jumped down and I ran back to my room and they knocked in the room and was like, is there a young man here? Yeah, but if you're on a luggage cart going downstairs, <laughs> how did you get mangled? How did you it not get so mangled? No, 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 you just gotta hang on. No, like what kind is, of stairs? You gotta hang on, buckle and tie, and I said, but the trick is. You didn't go flipping? No, no, the trick is. Okay. It's like, give me a good push. Because <laughs> I'm going to jump those first two. But the rest of it's going to be all up to me. 
but oh you have no God. control. You just hang on to the bars. Okay. And this fucking thing goes bam, bam, and it does. Yeah, you flip like a motherfucker. You, I would have thought, because you're no, going no. To I scary. crashed the shit out of it. Scary. Then jumped up and took off running, and, and there was a cop. This said, hey, you know, he saw me, and I didn't know there was a curfew, and. He was a fat cop, but he couldn't catch me because I would leap over the side of him. I did. I would jump two stories and land on my feet and take off running. You don't know me. Right. I, I, I yeah. can move. Wow. But the thing is, is... <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, they were so, there was search parties looking for a long-haired kid that's riding <laughs> luggage carts down the stairs. Right. But I was like, I gotta do this. But I need one volunteer. I won't give your name out. But if you can push me in that direction, I said, would you like to see somebody go off the edge? Right. Like, in the fucking luggage cart. They're like, absolutely. And I'm like, good. Yeah. But I'm going to need some thrust, because I've got jumped in first two steps, and this thing's going to do like that. Yeah. And I did. But if they use the steps end up curving. Yeah, wouldn't they? And, and yeah, and yeah. I smashed right into that motherfucker. Oh my curve. gosh. And I was laughing so hard. <laughs> but the thing is, I saw this flashlight, and I was like, I can smell a pig from my mom. Oh head. no. And I said, uh, catch me. And I give him the finger, and I <laughs> run. But the thing is, they couldn't find me because I jumped and I hit on top of the vending machines. Wow. And I curled up in a ball. Wow. And he was walking around like, I didn't know there was a, it's like, you know. What, Sounds what, like a dream. The thing is, there. I was down there in a fighting competition at the time. And then I jumped down and I took off running, but somehow they found out what room I was in and they knocked on the door later. And it's like, but the thing is, there's only one boy in Texas with only black pants on, barefooted, with long hair. Right. And his name's David Graham, and he's in, like, door 239. Right, right. And they found me, and I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been here the whole time. Yeah. And they're like, we know what you said. And the officer came, and I said, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Hey, I've been here all night. Yeah. And I'm all beat up. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, I deny it to the end. And they couldn't, they were just so mad. Really? And they were like, get me the fuck out of this place. And, I beat the, and then I beat the shit out of somebody the next day. <laughs> but I was, I, I was around the biggest assholes I ever met. So, how did you get on top of the vending machines? I jumped up to that. What? No, yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I, I jumped up there. And grabbed a hold and just pulled myself up and just laid there face down. Oh, and I okay. curled up and I said, I'm going to stay here. Well, when the sure. coast is clear, I'm going to jump back up. Because nobody looks up. That's right. Yeah. It's very, most people look eye level. No, nobody looks up. And that's right. and, and that's why I'm a killer salesman and retail everybody. That's if true. you're looking for somebody. Yeah. Because the most expensive items they have on... Um, the metal shelf. Right, right. And they keep the good shit, like uh, the shit I get. Right. Like the cheap shit, but they keep the expensive because it's eye I level. Because yeah. nobody looks up. That's right. I know that. Yep. Therefore, you can't find me. Yeah. Yep. That's neat. <clears throat> That's really neat. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Well, it's good to know. No, 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 no. It's a. The thing is, is. In the consumer market, which is crashing like a ball of fire, right. these, the, the only reason these bosses are bosses is they take like a psychological class sure, and they teach you where to put stuff so you can get the most money. Right. Because people don't look up and they don't look down, they only look at eye level. Mm -hmm. So where you find me? Right. There's another thing, too. I mean, um, I mean it's, it's stupid as shit. Kind of related to that, but we were just talking about that, how um, if you really, really wanted to sneak up on someone, you shouldn't be looking directly at them. 
No, they don't look at them Because they can often. sense. They can sense when someone's watching them. People? Yeah. Yeah, you, so never underestimate. A mysterious place. Never underestimate your target. In general. What never. What a fabulous show you? we have here. Yeah, I, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's come on back here. Sanford's getting really horny. It's great. I know, man. Sanford's excited that he quit his job. <laughs> So we can be rowdy? <laughs> rowdy! Look at that. I put on the fireworks for you. Happy New Year's, motherfuckers. Happy New Year. Very, very fun. We're at 40. 12. Alright. 40. 12. 40. It just keeps moving. Time keeps on ticking, and he is angry. He's about to throw a fit because he's out of the woods. I like to say I have another song for you. You do? Well, mister, I noticed you haven't been really playing the piano on these episodes that much. Did you okay. want to? My stomach was so fucked up. I know, but it's okay. It's okay. Fuck it. Let's roll one time. Ah. Yow! Squeaky. Ah! Why does it keep doing that? Okay. Yeah, let the sloth have it. David Graham.
Sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Aww, he's so sweet. Sheep, sheep. What happened to his speckled feathers on his face? Are you getting new ones? Are you getting new ones? Mister, he's getting new speckles on his face. He sheds his feathers and he gets new ones. And he does that probably like every two months or something. But anyway, he's handsome. Alright. Well, I don't know how that turned out. It's really hot. We're, um... Still recording, so let's tune in. Tune in next, next time, week, bitches. bitches. Mister. Mister. Bitches. Bitches. <laughs> Sanford, say it. Say it. I want you to say learn bitches. How to talk. You better learn how to talk now, Mister. Do it. Say it. And also, Say bitches! I'd like to congratulate you on those muscles, man. You, really? Yeah, you got it. I got serious muscles. Them. Really yeah, serious. The fucking protein powder has been working. I know. I'm looking really good. And so I are wish you. I I could say the same. You do look good. You do. Look, you do. Don't tell nobody. Yeah, they can see you. They can see you. <laughs> the hills have eyes, bitches. Bitches. I'll be sniped. I'll be sneaking up. I'll be sneaking up. <laughs> Sanford doesn't like that. Look at he doesn't like it. Say bitches. Say bitches. Oh man. Tune in next week. Yeah, tune in next week. Fuck it. We'll do it again. <laughs>